Photoshop is complicated. Painting is complicated. Combining the two can seem extremely complicated. So when you're just starting out, the least you can do is to eliminate one variable from the equation, color. In this video, I'll make a case for learning the fundamentals first in grayscale before you move on to painting with color. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. Now, I recognize that it's unlikely that you're going to spend years drawing still lifes with a pencil before you ever pick up Photoshop. And it may be one of the best ways to learn, but I recognize that it's not terribly realistic. So if you're new to painting, it's worth looking at the way that art school approaches the problem. In art school, you first learn to draw before you learn to paint. If you start out with a pencil, there's only a couple of variables. You're working with lines of varying thickness, and you build up value through hatching. Simple. One step more complicated is charcoal. This gives you the ability to not only lay down lines, but also to blend them together and to create pure value. But either way, each of these is only working in value. No color to worry about. And this is a good thing, because there is so much involved with creating a 3D illusion on a 2D surface. With each mark you make, you're answering a laundry list of questions. How hard is the edge? How directly illuminated is the surface? How close is the viewer to the object? And so on. There's a reason the introductory drawing classes don't allow colored pencils. Beginners already have plenty to think about. But you're using Photoshop, and it does things a bit differently. What it calls the brush tool can drift from pencil to brush, from grayscale to color. And there's no difference in cost. There's not even drying time to worry about. So it can be incredibly tempting to jump straight into color. After all, it's only one click away. But I encourage you to take it one step at a time. If you're doing photo studies, try first turning them into grayscale. If you're able to set up a small still life on your desk, even better. But just think about the light and the shadow. I know that all the video games, movies, and illustrations that you like are in full color. And you'll get there eventually. But trust me on this. Try starting slow and limiting yourself to grayscale for the time being. It really is the surest way to discover lighting and to discover form. Good luck, and thanks for watching.